The Nothing Phone One is finally here. The new and highly anticipated phone by OnePlus co-founder Carl Pei was released on July 12, 2022. While there have been plenty of pre-orders and purchases so far, people are still figuring out everything there is to know about the phone. So to clear any doubts you may be having before you purchase one, here's everything you need to know about the Nothing Phone One. Carl Pei officially announced his new company called Nothing Technology Limited on January the 27th, 2021, less than four months after his departure from OnePlus. Pei stated the following as his vision for the phone. Nothing's mission is to remove barriers between people and technology to create a seamless digital future. We believe that the best technology is beautiful yet natural and intuitive to use. Nothing's first product ever released was the Ear One, a set of wireless earphones and now the Nothing Phone One is here to show us the company's central vision. So let's take a look at some of the most interesting features introduced in the Nothing Phone One. Design and Display The Nothing One's design has been talked about for a while and for good reason. The back panel's stripped back, futuristic design immediately sets itself apart from other phones currently on the market. The design language is immediately familiar to anyone who's seen the Ear One earphones with a mix of opaque and transparent plastic that hints at the phone's internals without explicitly revealing too much of them. It's available in either white or black. But probably the most striking feature is a set of LED light strips on the back. Officially called the Glyph Interface, these lights are able to flash in one color, white, in various patterns, and they have a few neat practical uses. The lights are configured to flash for a number of reasons, including flashing for notifications, glowing around the charge coil when reverse wireless charging, slowly filling the bottom bar when using wired charging as a battery indicator, all illuminating at once as a fill light when using the camera and flashing in distinct patterns to the beats of a number of preset ringtones and notification alerts. As for the phone's build quality, the phone's frame is made out of recycled aluminum, while much of its plastic is also post-consumer recycled. The phone's button replacements are pretty conventional, with the volume buttons located on the left and the power button on the right. The USB-C type port, SIM tray and speaker sit at the bottom of the phone. The front and back of the phone are finished with Gorilla Glass 5 for protection and the handset also boasts an IP53 rating for dust and water resistance. The back panel is mostly transparent, showing off its bare-bones skeletal structure and the clearly visible wireless charging coil. We'll delve deeper into its charging capabilities shortly. Moving on to the display, the Nothing One packs a 6.55-inch screen, a fairly average Android size using 120Hz OLED tech. It supports HDR10+, a 240Hz touch sampling rate, and an under-display fingerprint sensor. The screen features a typical brightness of 500 nits and a peak brightness of 1200 nits, which easily allows you to view the screen under bright sunlight. You also get HDR10 Plus support on the screen. This display may not be the best for gaming, according to a few reviewers, but it is excellent for watching content. Nothing clearly didn't skimp on innovation regarding its design and display, making its first impressions globally quite positive so far. Front and rear camera. When it comes to the camera, the Nothing Phone One's capabilities are quite impressive considering its very affordable price. With a dual camera setup, the Phone One distances itself from over-the-top camera branding. All you get is two sensors, a 50 megapixel Sony IMX766 primary sensor with an f1.88 aperture and OIS and a 50 megapixel Samsung JN1 ultra-wide lens with an f2.2 aperture and a wide 114 degree field of view. On the front, there's a 16 megapixel Sony IMX71 sensor with an f2.5 aperture for the selfie camera. The Nothing Phone One can record 4K video at 30 frames per second on both the main and ultra-wide cameras, but not simultaneously. 
The rear camera captures images with good detail and dynamic range. The colors don't always look natural when shooting in the default mode, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. The 16 megapixel selfie camera, while pretty standard, captures natural looking skin tones and has good edge detection in portrait mode. Operating system and storage. Carl Pei had introduced a whole new operating system at the March phone announcement event, calling the Nothing OS. It is an Android based OS on which Pei commented, Nothing OS captures the best features of pure Android distilling the operating system to just the essentials where every byte has a purpose. There's a distinct aesthetic to the Nothing OS, carrying through the futuristic look of the body of the phone. The OS's ringtones and notification sounds have been reported to be influenced by Morse code, oscillators and digital watches, while for the user experience, Nothing offers a cleaner and simpler navigation experience light on UI animations. Pay also promised 40% fewer preloaded apps, focusing on Google's own experience as the first port of call for most services. The phone also offers built-in integration with not only the Nothing Ear One Buds, but also Tesla cars. This feature is sure to delight many users. To round out the software side of things, Pay promised three years of Android OS updates and four years of security updates, so the phone arrives running Android 12 and will upgrade to Android 13, 14 and 15. The Nothing Phone 1 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G Plus SoC or System on a Chip with the Adreno 642L GPU. The chip is paired with up to 12GB of RAM and up to 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage. Battery and charging capability. This is something that is sure to have as many favoring the battery build and charger as there are detractors. Carl Pei once stated that the custom tuned version of the chip was made specifically for nothing and that Qualcomm added in support for wireless charging and reverse charging just for this phone. We've all known now for a while that the phone would feature wireless charging, which is clear by looking at the big circular coil present in the middle of the design on the back panel. It's now confirmed to be QI compatible at up to 15 watt speeds with support for 5 watt reverse wireless charging too. The trade-off is that wired charging is only 33 watts. This is decent, but certainly not as impressive as numerous other phones currently on the market. The battery itself is a fairly typical 4500 mAh capacity, however one big decision that nothing made regarding the packaging of the phone may annoy some. When you purchase the Nothing Phone 1, it will not come with a charger in the box, unlike every other Android phone available in this price range. Overall, the Nothing Phone 1 has been received well despite a few concerns regarding its performance and this is only the first step in Nothing's journey towards making high-end but very affordable phones. So, what do you think about Carl Pei's newest phone? Be sure to let us know in the comments below.